Hi, it's Sam here from Kino Exteriors. Uh, today we're going to be talking about attic condensation. What is attic condensation? Well, attic condensation is a naturally occurring phenomenon that happens in uh, cold climate weathers and it affects the attic of your roof. Um, so what happens with attic condensation, it is, well, it's kind of self-explanatory. It is condensation that gathers inside your attic, but it happens only when it's uh, very cold outside and heat escapes into your attic space. So what happens when that happens? Um, so let's say that your house is plus 22 degrees Celsius and outside it's uh, minus, you know, 15 Celsius. As it, it gets colder outside uh, and heat escapes into the attic space through several um, ways of escaping into your attic space, frost builds up under, under the roof deck or the sheeting. Um, and what happens is that when it starts getting, you know, we have those uh, freeze and thaw cycles um, in Calgary especially uh, through the Chinooks. What happens is when that happens is it starts to rain inside your attic space. It also can trickle down all the way here and all the way down the wall. We've seen that happen before. So some of the symptoms that we see is uh, spotting in several uh, parts of the ceiling or around the edges of the ceiling or uh, around the attic uh, fan. Uh, the ventilation around it and inside the washrooms like you'll see some water staining around them and that is caused uh, by attic insulation and sometimes um, we sometimes think that it's a, a roofing issue but it's actually uh, a, a insulation issue or a ventilation issue with your attic space so uh, what how does you know warm air escape into your attic if you have insulation right well what happens is um, you know, sometimes it can escape through pot lights. It can escape through the hatch, your uh, attic hatch, that emits a lot of heat. Uh, another way is the lack of insulation itself. If you have poor insulation in, in, in your attic, you're going to have that warm air escaping into the attic pr pretty easily. Uh, another way is through the, the fans, like the... Um, the washroom fans, like when it starts to take all the the, the steam from uh, you know somebody taking a shower, it emits heat when once it started starts to get out out of the house through through the attic. So those are the ways that um, it, heat can escape into the attic space. And then uh, what makes it worse is if you don't have proper ventilation, which is the air coming in through the soffit. So the bottom part of the overhang of the of the roof. That's the soffit. So under that, you know, you need to have enough air coming into the attic all the way. And then you have vents up here, which will come out. And, you know, that's how um, attics are ventilated. So if you have a poor uh, ventilation system, then you're most likely are going to have that issue if a lot of heat is escaping into your attic. Um, so, you know, the... the if you want, so now how do we reduce uh, attic condensation? So uh, there are several ways. First, we need to find where the heat is escaping from and prevent it from further escaping or at least minimizing that uh, heat release into the attic. Another way is to determine if you have enough uh, insulation to prevent that heat from getting to the attic. Another way is <clears throat> sometimes the insulation is all the way to the edge of the of the you know attic and the ceiling there and it blocks the entry for air to get into the attic and if you don't have ventilation at all you'll, you'll have that issue for sure um, and then another way is to add more vents on the roof to make sure that you have enough airflow and yeah those would be some of the the ways that you can prevent that issue not everybody has it, um, you know, you might have it and you might not even realize it. If it's not affecting you, you know, there's nothing to really worry about. If it's very, very bad, you will have issues uh, like mold growing if it's through a lot of years. But, you know, there's a lot of houses that we get into 
and we know it's at a condensation, but the frost is not there anymore because we go and it's a little warmer and, and stuff. But we don't see anything, anything rotting or anything like that. So there's nothing to really worry about if you don't have any symptoms uh, showing up, like water stains around your ceiling and, 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 and washroom fans and stuff like that. So yeah, this is just a small video that we wanted to share some information. And, and if you have any questions, you can always reach us at 403-909-3236 or you can send us an email at info at Thank you, and hopefully you found this video valuable. Bye.